Thanks for sharing. Absolutely. Now, everyone out there in the webinar, are you still awake? Are you still with us? I know we're throwing a lot of information at you, but just give us about 10 more minutes and we'll get you on your merry way. Um, and I'll walk you through a very brief demonstration of Elios. You know, at the core, what Elios is trying to accomplish is we want to be your clinical assistant, um, your second set of eyes and ears in a talk therapy conversation to help ensure that we're capturing notes, um, capturing the pertinent information that's happening within the session to help inform your documentation. And we're doing this in, in helping expedite the documentation. So from our perspective, whether you're having an in-person conversation or telehealth, and part of our partnership with MEND is to get to a deeper level of integration with our telehealth experience. So as a therapist, you can seamlessly invite the Elios note taker to a telehealth conversation or not, give you that easy flexibility to make that happen, seamless experience for not only the client, but for your staff as well. So whether it's that in-person or telehealth, Elios has the ability to sit in the background of the talk therapy conversation, your second set of eyes and ears. We can capture it with set it within session. We can summarize and analyze the conversation. Within one to two minutes post-session, Elios is going to generate these key moments or we, we call the objective facts. So for demo purposes, I'm showing you an instance of Streamline Smart Care, but we are web-based EHR agnostic. But just to give you the visual, as that therapist, my session is over. I navigated the EHR like I do today. You know, our biggest philosophy is we're not going to ask you to change your workflow in your EHR. We're not going to ask you to change your progress note template structure in your EHR. We want to be seamlessly embedded within your clinical workflow in the EHR. So just to play along with me and stick with the demo, the session has ended as a therapist. I'm now opening that note tab to do my documentation what happened within session. And this is where the Elios application pops up. So if you're still awake, come on, everybody, to stay awake here. Follow my arrows where we're essentially an application that sits on top of your progress note template. Think of Elios as taking your current EHR capabilities, extending it with additional features to expedite building out a progress note. What the data is showing us is we're helping reduce documentation time by 50 to 70%. That's very legitimate and tangible. And here's a certain a couple of ways we're doing this. Any free text field, you'll have the ability to shorthand, write some shorthand text into the field or into the free text area. You can leverage an enhanced feature that Elios offers, basically taking the shorthand, throwing, them the, throwing it up against the Elios Behavior Health specific AI brain, and we're going to give you back a more comprehensive, clinically appropriate statement. What's very important to know is your therapist are always in the driver's seat, right? You as a therapist decides what goes into your note, what doesn't. You have the ability to edit and update anything you want. And you are, as the, the licensed clinician, going to be the one signing off on the note. So you can discard this. You can try again. Or maybe you're okay with what was sent. You could hit use text. And then again, you can edit this as you see fit. When I move to the various sections of the note, I'm showing you a very basic DAP note template, but again, we'll work within the confines of any template structure you've built. This is where those key moments come into play. We are that assistant, right? We sit in the background and we can help kind of capture the, the, the pertinent information for documentation purposes. Something as easy as this was an in-person session. By a click of the button, you can pull it into the appropriate section. You don't have to manually key this out and pound this out, right? We are behavioral health specific, so we're trying to summarize what we picked up on in session and then give you the context to help pull into the note just to make it easier and more digestible for your therapist. And this is actually feedback we got directly from therapists. So we're highlighting that PTSD symptoms were detected within session. This isn't a literal translation of, of someone saying I have PTSD. We summarize this. If the therapist thinks it's pertinent, you click the button, you pull into the appropriate section. The last example here I'll show is substance use. Click the button, pull it into the right section. Again, as a therapist, you decide what goes in the note. You can edit and update this as you see fit. We're just trying to speed up that process on your behalf. This is a very lightweight application. So at any point, you can open and close the Elias application. Think of an accordion with my random hand movement, right? Sorry, I'm Italian. Um, but at any point, you open and close the Elias application. It makes it easier for your therapist to adopt because it's within a workflow and an application that you already know. And that's key for Elias, right? When I move to a different section, a different set of information becomes available. I get this all the time, but if you are discussing assessment results within session that Warren and Hattie were talking about a little bit, and if you're discussing the scores and results, we can pick up on that, summarize that on your behalf. And if you think it's important for documentation, click the button, pull it into the appropriate section, and then highlighting things like social determinants of health. You know, Elios is behavioral health specific. We've just been doing this the longest. So our AI brain has learned on a lot of information and it's very well informed. That's essentially who we are.
so we can detect SDOH changes and highlight that and summarize that, pull it in the note if you see it, think it's necessary. Again, open and close the alias app whenever you see it's necessary. The cool part about this, if you notice, is we're actually auto-populating the discrete fields in the EHR real time. It's a big part of our technology as a browser extension. We can feed the discrete fields in the EHR real time. We are not that source of truth. We're just a mechanism to help facilitate building the